Well, it's hard for anyone to um, uh, to say he doesn't deserve it. Um, you know, I think he's done an outstanding job with, with along with the other coaches. Really turned England around. More importantly, got England winning again um, and got the players understanding what it really means to play for England. To put the shirt on. Um, I think the. Re I don't think anyone's getting carried away. Not least Stuart with the real test and the barometer is the Southern Hemisphere. And I think this. Um, up-and-coming tour that England have to South Africa, three test matches, will give Stuart's players, the England squad, the opportunity to really understand where they are in terms of world rugby. Uh, and also from a coaching perspective, you know, he's got the job now. Uh, he wants to employ Andy Farrell, if you're led to believe what, what we read in the papers, and he's obviously got Graham Roundtree there. I think it's up to Stuart now to decide whether he feels he's got enough in terms of that coaching team or whether he needs to add to that coaching team. You know, there, there's a number of, uh, Brian Ashton was, put, was banded around as being a, a potential possibility. Someone like Wayne Smith, who's out there in New Zealand, who's won the World Cup with New Zealand, who really understands um, New Zealand, South Africa and Australia. Maybe maybe that's someone that they that the, the, the RFU might want to consider bringing in but you know that's not that, that's a decision for Stuart and I think he'll be in a much better place to to, to make judgments on both his playing um, abilities you know in terms of his, uh, his squad and also his coaching squad you know when he takes them away out of what we love which is the six nations and takes them to that really different environment in South Africa and I think we'll know a lot more about both the players and the coaches after that tour